In this video, I've got some inspiration for you using your dead man's fingers, your passion fruit rum. And the passion fruit rums will of course work or just normal aged rum with some passion fruit kind of liqueur added to it. Welcome back, drinks fans. As just said, Dead Man's Fingers Passion Fruit. It's about time I got to the old back to the old DMF cocktails. They're just fun and summer's coming, so why not? Uh, this cocktail is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, kind of tropical notes in there, a bit of pineapple, we've got a bit of cherry going on, but we've also reined the sweetness back in with a bit of Aperol, kind of the, the tartness goes through there. And it's just a beautifully balanced cocktail. I absolutely Flipping well, love that. Um, name, we've got a name for this. My little legends community has named this. Um, shout outs for Ross. Uh, we've got, they, most of them got involved this week, actually. Uh, we've got, well, I say most of them, five, five, one, one, two, six of them got involved this week in this one. So Ross has come up with Fruity Jungle Rumble. Uh, pretty, Pretty actually came in with Kinky Rum Storm. Uh, Callum was Rumble in the Jungle. I kind of like that one as well. Uh, Georgie was Rum Rum in my tum, or Dead Man Walking. Uh, and Paul went uh, a, a Aperol Passion Bomb. But the one I've decided to go for, because I think this suits it quite well, was pa Andy Barr and Passion in the Tropics. So thank you, Andy. Uh, that will now go, obviously, go into my cocktail book, which will get released uh, sort of summer 2021. Right, let's run you through the ingredients we've got for this cocktail. Obviously, we've got a Dead Man's uh, Fingers Passion Fruit Rum. If you want to kind of play back with that, just a normal rum, aged rum maybe, and some Passion Fruit Liqueur, think Pessoa, think Elise, whatever, maybe uh, bowls, maybe Jiffy if you could get a passion fruit liqueur where you are, that sort of thing. 45 mil, probably 15 mil, that kind of thing. But if you get DMF, uh, go for that because it's kind of fun. I've got Aperol because I just want a little bit of bitterness going along with the cocktail. Uh, I've got Fortunello. It's my go-to orange liqueur. Um, it's actually a kumquat liqueur, but think swap out if you fancy like Grand Marnier, uh, orange Curacao. You could even go Cointreau or Triple Sec or you can't even use uh, JJ's Blood Orange Vodka. That'll work as well. Uh, I've got some uh, morning cherry syrup. Uh, I've got some local to me, it's Crane's uh, blood, uh, Cranberry and Blood Orange Liqueur. There aren't too many cranberry liqueurs around the world, but you could go Blood Orange Cointreau, do like a Blood blood Orange uh, liqueur. So you could use that if you want. Uh, I've got some aromatic bitters or Angostura bitters and some 100% pressed pineapple juice. So, uh, really, really easy, this one. Uh, I'm going for... 45 mil, one and a half ounces of my DMF passion fruit. In there. Right, I'll just pop that to one side. Uh, Aperol, as I say, just want a little bit of bitterness running through the cocktail. So I'm going for 15 mil, one five, half an ounce. There, that should be about perfect. That'll balance nicely up with the old syrup. Uh, I'm gonna do um, just I just want little tiny sort of amounts of this and the crane. So I'm going seven and a half mil of my orange liqueur, seven point five quarter of an ounce. Uh, and then while I'm on the seven point fives, I'll do my cranberry. There you go. So get a little close up of that. This is lovely. Just down the road from me. This absolutely gorgeous. Right. Uh, and then again, seven and a half mil. Perfect. Right, I will go back to the morning syrup now. It's my OCD. Yeah. Uh, I'm going 15, one five, half an ounce of this. Feel free to dial this back. Uh, you can, I don't know whether I mentioned a minute ago, but obviously you can swap that out for uh, ODK like cherry puree if you're in the UK, or of course you can. Um, like your maraschino cherries or your amarena cherry, the juice, the syrup inside them, you can use that as well. It's the same stuff. Right. Um, we are going for some some just aromatic bitters. I just want one dash of this. I don't want too much. Uh, so the dip, because it's pipette based, one dash would be a literary about that, about a quarter of a pipette. About perfect. There we go. Quarter of a, a pipette. So that'll be about one dash, give or take. Uh, now I've just got some pressed pineapple juice. This is supermarket owned pineapple juice, but it is 100% pressed. It will taste the damn sight better than the stuff from concentrates. So uh, I'm just going 45 mil, one and a half ounces. Oh, oh hello. Let's go, let's go 50 mil. This, oh, did that all right, didn't I? Right, there we go. Look at the color of that. That's gonna be a stunner. Right, uh, I'm just gonna ice this up and, and obviously give it a good, old, hard, fast shake. Plenty of welly for 10 to 12 seconds. All right, hard fast. Right, when that's cold enough, it's so cold you can't hold it anymore, it's ready. Uh, serve it up, I'm gonna serve it up in just a life of lovely kind of sling glass. I'm gonna single strain this. 
just in there. That should be perfect. There we go, put that down there. Uh, and then I'm just gonna top out with crushed ice. I haven't got myself a little scoop yet, but I have just cut the end, cut the top off a Coke little can. Because <laughs> I normally spill my crushed ice all over the bar. So, just gonna do that. Look, that'll be perfect, there we go. And then just to, uh, just to garnish, here's one I prepped earlier. I've just got a little pineapple. I don't know where you can see the cherry, the little cherry on the kebab there. And that will sit nicely on top of there. Pop it up on screen right there will be even more Dead Man's Fingers cocktails for you to dive into and enjoy. So hook yourself up there. Uh, as always, if you like the video, big old thumbs up, please. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.